Hello everyone, welcome to Joyroot. In our last video in this tutorial series, we learned about Windows 10 multi-user sessions, FS Logic, MSIX app attachment, and we learned different AVD terms like session host, uh, host pool, workspace, remote applications, and uh, and so on. So if you have not watched that video, I recommend to watch. I recommend you to watch that first before watching this. And uh, if you have any suggestions or questions, please mark it in the comment section. And as usual, please do uh, support me by subscribing this channel. All right. So in this particular video, we learn about host pool types. Let us review the different types of host pools available in Azure Virtual Desktop. As we have already learned, the host pool is a collection of virtual machines used to host a user connections. So what is a session host? What is host pool? So all that we have already discussed in our last video. So I do not want to uh, explain it again. So we have already learned the host pool is a collection of virtual machines used to host user connections. The two types of host pools available in Azure Virtual Desktop. One is personal host pool and the second one is pooled host pool. So let us learn what is this personal host pool and pooled host pool. Now we learn about personal host pool. So a personal host pool has one to one mapping to a user to a virtual machines. So as you can see in this picture, a user is mapped one to one to a computer, one to one to a virtual machine. This is a type of pool to deploy if using a non multi sessional operating system like Windows 7 or a single versions of Windows 10 or Windows 11. As a matter of fact, Windows Office extended security updates until January 2033 for Windows 7 VM running in Azure. This provides a use case of extending Windows 7 support for application that cannot be yet migrated to Windows 10 or Windows 11. So another reason for personal host pool could be a processor intensive graphic or analytic software that won't, that won't work well with a shared computer or all good candidates for a personal host pools. So these can be the reasons why we need personal host pool. The other type of host pool is nothing but pooled host pool. As you can see, multiple users are logging into a single virtual machine. A multi-session operating system such as Windows Server or Windows 10 multi-session uh, user, multiple user sessions or Windows 11 multi-user uh, multi -user sessions are installed on these virtual machines and user login new connections are distributed across the session host so generally speaking for a average workload it is more economical to spread many uses across a smaller number of high powered virtual machines in a pooled host pool than it is to host one to one user to virtual machines in a personal host pool so pooled host pool is a bit more economical when we compare to the uh, the other one which is personal host pool from this picture itself you you understand the difference between the personal host pool and the pooled host pool all right so there are two options for configuring how azure virtual desktop load balances to a new client connections to session host and pooled host pools one option is bread first load balancing the first one is bread first load balancing so in bread first distribute a new connection across all available session host evenly for example i can show you the see when a new for example when a new user uh, login it can to it connect to the first host machine then it goes when the other uh, user comes it goes to the second host and the third one moves to the third host and again the, when when the fourth one comes again it comes to the first one then to the second then to the third so in this way evenly the hosts are distributed we can set maximum number of connection uh, per session host on the host pool this will stop new connection if the maximum session allowed is reached however the maximum session limit is not required on bread first host pool now we have the other one which is depth first load balancing the other option for pooled host pool load balancing is depth first depth first will fill one session host to the maximum number of connection allowed before directing traffic to the second host so i can show you that when 
first user logs in, he get the first two session host. Then the second user also get the first two session host. Third one also get the same VM. The fourth one also get the same VM. When the fifth one comes, that which means the maximum session allowed for host, it's four here. So when the fifth one comes, it moves to the second session host. So the load balancing is distributed in this way in depth to first load balancing. All right. So I believe you got an uh, understanding about how breadth first load balancing and how depth first load balancing works uh, for the pooled host pools. All right. So let's have a recap what we have learned today. We we learned that there are two types of host pool. One is personal host pool and the other one is pool host pool. Personal host pool will be having will be a dedicated of uh, virtual machines for the for a for a user end user. In the case of pooled host pool, we install multi user operating system of Windows 10 or Windows 11 or you can use any server OS and you can distribute that uh, particular VM to many users. For the load balancing, we use or either bed first or depth first method to distribute the users with on the pooled host. So this is what we have learned on this session. That's it for the day. We will meet in the other video. Till then, goodbye.